What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast and here we are in the Hammerdown Motorsports shop and behind us we have our 2019 Ram Rebel. So even though the Ram content has been very popular on the channel and I'm very grateful for all the new subscribers that I got, we do have other cars on the channel and we try to squeeze those in every once in a while, give you guys a little bit of variety here because we do have a whole lot of vehicles here on the channel. We've got old trucks, we've got new trucks, we have the Porsche, the Camaro, the 1995 Ram truck build which we have sitting out there and we have a couple of classic F-150s. We have the 2000 green one over there and we have the brown one which is a 98 on the other side of the dump and as you can see we did clean up this area a little bit got all the wood separated so we can burn that got some of the metal on the trailer we can take that away and got all that garbage cleaned up because when we built this building last October they said in the contract that they don't take away any of the trash but I didn't realize they were gonna throw their personal trash everything they ate for their lunch all that garbage went straight onto my lawn I wasn't all that impressed with having to clean that up but that is something that you have to realize when you do a project like this that can happen and if you're gonna build a building like this get a dumpster put it over there they can throw everything in it and then they can just be taken away and you don't have to go through what I had to go through to clean this all out of a muddy mess also quick update in the shop as you can see over here we do have a little bit of insulation installed I got some of the boards up over here I actually ran out of lumber I have to go get some more eight foot boards just so I can get all up here everything nicely strapped up get more insulation put in so we are ready for the winter season as you can see our big pile of wood here is gone we still have yeah stuff everywhere but that is all a work in progress we are going to be getting all this stuff out of here this is all construction stuff and everything's got a place it's just really not in it at the moment all right so we've had the ram for a little over a month now and kind of when you buy a new truck you want to buy a couple little things just to kind of make it your own but a lot of times when you buy a new truck you spend a lot of money to get that truck and you don't want to go crazy right away and buy a bunch of accessories so these are a couple of cheap things that i did find on amazon that kind of caught my eye and we put on the rebel and one thing we actually are going to have to make a little bit of a bracket to install but it may not be for everybody but it definitely is something that i want to put on my build and you're going to want to see this one because i think it's a little bit unique but I don't know we're gonna make it work it's gonna be awesome so first up you might have noticed we do have the hitch hook installed this is made by Kurt I got it on Amazon I will have a link in the description for it and it's just a nice to have thing if you want to put a strap here and tow something or pull a tree down or whatever you want to do it's just a nice utility thing to have in the back of your truck and I went to the store to try to find one of these I couldn't find them so Amazon was the best way to get it and it's been working awesome I actually use this for my trash can I just kind of lean it over it's got wheels and then the handle will hook in here and I can tow it to the end of my driveway and it's pretty nice. Another thing you may have noticed, I put the tinted license plate cover on. This is actually just from AutoZone. I had this on my previous Ram and it just makes the truck look a little bit more custom, a little more unique. And when you step back, it's not like that license plate really pops out. It's got a nice frame around it and kind of just blends it in a little bit with the bumper. And it may not be 100% legal where you live, but I think it's worth the risk. I've never really had a problem. You can still read the plate, but it just kind of gives that little bit of a custom touch. Then over here in the back, we have our cup holders. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of glow going on. And this is something that I've seen online a few times and I maybe passed by, but this time I pulled the trigger and yes, we got the Ram logo LED. It's almost like a puck that sits in the bottom of your cup holder. And when you pull it out, you can actually change the colors of it. Just kind of a fun little touch. Push this, make it blue, you can make it green, purple, kind of a white. Then you've got lighter blue, dark blue, I think that was the white. Either way, red looks really good in here. And then when you put your water bottle in, obviously at night, this is gonna look a whole lot nicer, but just a fun little touch that I wanted to get and looks pretty cool in my opinion. Also, one thing I didn't notice right away about these rear cup holders is this slot that goes across. And that's actually purpose built for a tablet. So you can just slide your tablet in there. If you got kids in the back, you wanna put on a movie or something like that for them, that will fit in there nicely. Being that we do have the panoramic sunroof, we don't have any place for rear entertainment. I mean, they could have probably put it on the back of the headrest, but that's not really a big thing anymore. But they did give that provision for a tablet, which is pretty cool. And you do have your USBs down here for charging. And I'm not entirely sure if it plugs into the infotainment system. I think it might, but if it does, that'd be really, really cool. 
Yes, I know, more colored LEDs. I love LEDs. I'm, I'm just gonna fully admit that to everybody. And something like that is just something that, I don't know, I like it. It's just a little fun thing that I like to add to my truck. So next up, we are gonna actually install this today. It's a little nuance piece that's gonna go onto our shift knob. And I got this on Amazon as well. And it's just a little Mopar plate that's actually gonna sit right here on our shifter. And it's got two-sided tape on the back. So we're actually gonna prep this surface so it's gonna stick nicely. And then we can put this in place and see how it looks. So the first thing I'm gonna do to prep the surface is use some of the Sika Activator 205. I have found this on Amazon, but it was like $50 for one bottle of it. And I think I can get it for about $20 from Todd at TSEs. So if you guys can find somebody local that sells this, you're probably gonna get a whole lot better deal on it. But it's a pretty simple process. All you do is open up the bottle, take out the seal, Get yourself a Q-tip, get some of the product on the end. It is clear, so you don't have to worry about it changing the color of anything. And then what you're gonna do is just kinda apply it wherever your 3M tape is gonna go. And this really helps the 3M tape to stick. If you're ever having problems with 3M tape not adhering properly, this stuff works absolutely amazing. All right, so now that our activator has had a chance to dry, we're gonna take our protective film off the back of our trim piece. And we're just gonna kind of line it up as best as possible. This is silver and the knob is silver as well. So it's a little bit tricky to kind of make sure that everything is perfectly aligned, but try our best here. Get it aligned really nicely before we apply pressure. I think that looks pretty straight. And then we're just gonna apply constant pressure for about 30 seconds or so. Just gonna make sure that all of the two-sided tape has an opportunity to make contact with the shift knob. And we should have a nicely adhered piece. So now that I've got a Mopar M in my hand, I think this trim piece looks pretty nice. It's kind of a subtle touch, but it's something that I'm gonna notice and definitely gonna set my truck apart from any other one that I'm gonna see. And for 20 bucks, how can you really go wrong? And then of course there's our all popular rock lights we have inside our fender well. Can't really see them right now since they're not on, but they're about $80 for the kit. That includes the Bluetooth module, goes to your phone. Also a very nice, cheap, easy option. And then of course we have our WeatherTech mud guards and these work really, really well. I mean, I've been through some pretty good mud and it really keeps everything off the back of the truck. I mean, with these big tires, you do get a little bit over here on the back of the bumper, but that's to be expected with a 33 inch, kind of more of a mud tire. But these do work really, really well. And for all four corners, I think I was around $90 for this set. So definitely worth investing in a set of these. And a little update on our tonneau cover. I know I've had some questions about this. This is the Truck Sport from Truxedo. And it's a fairly inexpensive tonneau cover, but really easy to use compared to some other options that I've seen. All you have to do is pull down on these little tabs right here. This piece will flip up and then you can just kind of roll it. And it has the Velcro on either side. And it's a little easier to do with two hands. You can get it to roll up straight. But all in all, it's worked really, really well. And for the construction of it and for the price of it, I think you really can't go wrong. So now over here, we have the thing that you guys are either going to love me or hate me for. We have a air horn setup. And not just any air horn setup. This is the Vixen Dixie horn setup for the Ram Rebel. I, it's not necessarily for the Ram Rebels, for any truck, but you gotta admit, it's a Ram Rebel. This is a man's truck. This is an off-road, well, it's not a man's truck. It could be anybody's truck, but it is kind of like the guy that isn't gonna be necessarily welcome at the country clubs kind of truck. And what better way to introduce yourself than with the Dixie Horn? And now, I know I've, I've kind of looked online for these and a lot of them are cheap, a lot of them are, they're not good quality and they don't sound right. They, they either are too fast or it's just not the same sound as the Dukes of Hazard horn, which I am a big fan of because I grew up watching that show and it was absolutely the best show ever and I still think that. I mean, I don't really care about the whole, I don't even know why people get into that thing with the Rebel flag, the General Lee thing, the, yeah, whatever. All that kind of stuff I think is just a bunch of BS from the media, but all in all, this horn 
represents my childhood, the fun that I remember of the General Lee ripping through the back roads. And I think the Ram Rebel definitely needs to have that on it as my personal build and I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And then over here, I did get a switch panel from Amazon as well. And I took one of the switches out and I got this horn switch. It's just a one touch. So I'll be able to hit the Dixie horn whenever I want to, just under the dash. And then these ones, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep all of them in. I might take one of them out for the pedal max and then have the other ones for any additional lighting I'm gonna do. One being the rock lights, just kind of the master switch, but this is a nice little switch panel. And then I've got some angle iron. I'm actually gonna cut out, mount this in it, and then we're gonna paint it up and mount it nicely under the dash. So with that being said, the Dixie Horn is coming. I'm gonna be putting it on the lift and just kind of doing a little bit of research here on how I'm gonna be putting it, how I'm gonna mount it, if there is any good spaces where I can maybe use some of the factory hardware to mount a bracket and then fabricate the bracket, get everything nicely up out of the way so we're not gonna get those horns full of mud and they're gonna work very nicely for a very long time. And if you guys hate those horns, definitely drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I mean, honestly, these are bolt-on things. These are things that can be removed from the truck. Everything that I've done to the truck so far can be removed pretty much without any damage whatsoever other than maybe the holes for the rock lights and the fender wells. But I mean, honestly, who cares about that? This is my truck, my build. It's gonna be done my way. I like LED lights, I like Dixie horns. I like stuff like that. I'm, a, as you can see, maybe a little bit of a redneck, but I do like that kind of stuff and I love sharing with you guys out there. We do have a little bit of an idea what's gonna happen with that truck over there. And yeah, there's a trailer behind it full of scrap metal and I think some of that truck should end up on that trailer. That, that sounds like a good time to me. And then we might see if we can get a little bit more air out the jump. Yeah, a little bit lighter. It's gonna go a little bit higher. I think that, that sounds like a great time to me. So that being said, everybody, we are kind of up to date now on where the shop is at. We're up to date on where the truck is at. We got a couple little ideas for you guys who have your new Rams. If you guys wanna get some of these options, they're definitely out there. I will have links in the description for all of them. And also I forgot to mention, I have been spending a bunch of time upstairs getting everything framed in in the mezzanine. We're almost ready to drywall that. So it's gonna be awesome to have that all sealed up. We can use the heater, air conditioner in there, have a nice place to actually get away from the cold or heat in the shop until we get that figured out. It's actually a guy coming today. We're gonna to be getting the HVAC kind of specced out so we can get that figured out as well. So this can be a space we can use all year round and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. I can't wait to have this all cleaned up and the way everybody out there I'm sure wants to see it. And don't worry, I wanna see it that way as well. I wanna get all this junk cleaned up out of here and make a very nice, clean, organized workspace. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down. And look what just showed up in the mail. We got our decal for the sliding window. We got a little bit of America to add to the Rebel.